This is Purge 2. We have the Necrotuch Primer and are in pursuit of Locke. This is Purge 2. Titus, do you read me? Titus! 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 It's Eisenhorn, do you read? Quicker! For the love of the Emperor! I need help! The Xenos Necrotum. The chamber stank with its people. The licorice smell so rich and cloying it makes gag. This was not Saruthi handiwork, but a touch of pure chaos spawned by the Necrotur, infecting the Xenos fabric of its sanctum. Titus! Gregor! There were too many of them. Gregor. I was ambushed. Don't move, Titus. We'll get you out of here. The lock is just beyond. Beyond these heretics. You will beg before you perish, scum! Come, I know, and is your face not dead enough yet? of his rats have fled. So perish all heretics, eh? So perish all heretics indeed. Turn him so he can see me. Such valor, Gregor. Such dedication. I thought you'd be the one to find the prize. Let him speak. What, what are you what are you doing, Molotov? Recovering the priceless Necrotuch, of course. We really, really can't have you destroying another copy now, can we? We? There are many who believe mankind will benefit more from the study of this artifact than from its destruction. I have come to safeguard those interests. Walker will never allow you will burn for my estimable Lord Brother Rorkin will never know. Feel how this place quakes. See how the roof splinters and collapses. Ten minutes ago, I signaled to the fleet that the primary objective was achieved. I gave the code for Sanction Extremis. They believe the Necrotuch had been found and safely disposed of. Our forces are withdrawn. 
with all haste. The batteries of the fleet have begun to level these Xenos places. No one will know that the divine Necrotuk has been carried off safely. Not a shred of evidence, nor any voice of dissent. How brave of you to give your life in the assault on 56 Izar. Your name will be remembered on the roll of honor, I assure you. I'll see to that myself. Bastard. Fetch it for me. We would be well to leave promptly. It is useless. What? Unreadable. Locked within an impenetrable Xenos language code. No. Impossible. Break the code. Would that I could. It is beyond even my ability. There must be a means of translation. He has a primer. The only primer. He's trying not to think about him. But I can see it in his mind. Look in his coat pocket. Devious to the last, Gregor, you horse and wretch. Albarathath! Code words. Trigger words. The pair of servants who'd remained by his side sprang forward, their robes shedding away. Arco flagellants. Heretics reprogrammed and rebuilt with augmetics and bionics to serve as murderous slaves. The trigger words woke them from their calming states of bliss and plunged them into maniacal rages. Kill them! Kill them! You horse and bastard! Give me the primer! I gave him a full clip of both rounds instead. I would like the primer now, please, Gregor. What are you? This is no place for introductions. You be. Very well. My name is Cherubel. Now, that primer. Time is ticking away. Time will always tick away. Who made you? Made me? You're a demon host. A conjured thing. Tell me who made you and who commanded you and Molitor to come after this prize. And I might give you the primer. 
Let us both be abundantly clear about this, Gregor. You will give me the primer. Either you will hand me the primer now, or I will come over to you and take it. And break every bone in your body. And break that girl at your side. And break every bone in her body. And then drag your jiggling carcasses down into the chamber below and string you both up on the hooks and burn out your agony centers as I wait for the bombardment to flatten into place. Your choice. It's been in my dreams for a long while. Why is that? You are gifted, Gregor. And time is not the arrow that humans like to think it is. A second in the warp would show you that. Why, a second in the four-dimensional habitats of the Saruthi should have proved it too. Your dreams were just nightmares of something yet to happen. Who made you? The Holy Inquisition made me, Gregor. A brother of yours made me. For the last time, give me that. Clever of you to find an untouchable to cancel me out. How did you manage that? Fate, like time, is not linear, Cherubel. Surely you know that. I found Beckwin in the same way that the dreams of you found me. I like you, Gregor Eisen. So very challenging and stimulating. Are you? I wish we had leisure to discourse and break bread. Give me the primer. You are a man of singular dedication, Gregor. I would have enjoyed killing you. One day an hour came. You were dead already. This edifice is 240 seconds away from destruction. Cherish this. You won. Take that consolation to the afterlife. Rose gone from Aegis. Above and... Well, above, for Emperor's sake. Damn this glossier crap. Forty weeks of voyage through the Immaterium had dulled our sense of victory. The fleet dispersed at Thracian Primaris, and the last I saw of Sergeant Jerus was a waving hand across a smoky, beery bar. Lord Rawkin had called for a tribunal of inquiry, and the High Lords of Terror were awaiting a full account of the matter. The identity of the force behind Molitor and his demon host remained a mystery. And though Lord Rawkin was as anxious as myself to find an answer, I doubted any would readily emerge. The question might fester and stagnate unanswered in the slow, unwieldy bureaucracy of the Inquisition for years. I would not allow that. As soon as I was free to engage upon another case, I would dedicate myself to finding Cherubel and Master. The beloved rule of man had come close to great calamity thanks to his scheming. I would not forget the Saruthi. They were an object lesson, if any were truly needed, of how an entire advanced culture might be consumed by chaos. Cherubel still haunted my dreams. After Echoes, or ripples of the future. I came to understand that time changes everything and the line between light and dark is dimmer to old eyes. Are the people who lived in the past the same as those who live now? Am I the same? Come, Cherubel.